Scotty? Wait, 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 wait. Allow me. Ta-da! You changed the light bulbs. I sound so disappointed. No, I'm not. It's just, you know, I was supposed to do that. Well, you seemed a little stressed, so I'm giving you a break. Really? Why? That bad. Well, let me see. First, I was dealing with the family business being obliterated when Justin announced he has, on occasion, been attracted to Rebecca, our sister. What? Believe me, it goes on. Then Sarah calls me over because she's agonizing over dating the guy whose deal obliterated the family business. But, thank you, the piece de resistance, Saul, who signed off on the deal that got the business obliterated after being arrested for DUI for plowing his car into a tree because apparently he's lost the will to live, finally came out to me. Oh my God, is he okay? He will be, I think. But, you know, it's like, all these crazy people in my family are in this insane free fall and completely incapable of being happy. And then I look at Saul, who has missed his life entirely. And I realize how lucky I am because I get to come home to someone who is kind and caring and who changes the light bulbs and marry me. What? I mean it. I, I don't want to wait. I don't want I want to make this official. Because I changed the light bulbs? No. <laughs> No, well, yeah, kind of, because, Scotty, that's who you are. I'm completely, completely in love with you. I even love the things about you that I hate. Because you make me feel like I don't have to be anyone other than who I am. And to me, that feels like family, and that's what I want us to be. I want us to be a family, because that never ends. I'm doing this all wrong. Scotty, I am asking you, will you please marry me? Yes. <laughs> yes, Kevin, I'll marry you.